Georgia. So Friday, I was able to uh, get a load out of Fort Pickett. That's in uh, Chesapeake, Virginia, to come to Washington, Georgia. So from Virginia, the house is on the way there, so I was able to get back to the house Saturday and uh, relax for Saturday and Sunday and deliver to this uh, place first thing in the morning. It's an hour away from the house. Turn left at the traffic light. One of the things that uh, I did last night was, of course, trip planning. Trip planning is very important. You avoid uh, any kind of craziness or mishaps. So I pulled up the map, and the map shows me tells me to go to the front of the building, which is really not conducive, not really good for trucks. So, opened up the map and got a, uh, In two and a half miles, better left idea on Preston Road. of what I needed to do, which was go around to the back of all the trucks, but the GPS wouldn't tell you that. So, just wanted to show you that the importance of trip planning. One of the things I need to do better is, uh, like today, after I drop this load off, is uh, take the time out to do the trip planning for the next trip instead of just punching in the address and the GPS and, and rolling out. Did that once before, ended up in a neighborhood. And, you know, trucks don't belong in no neighborhoods. Those roads aren't made for it, so I ended up going all the way in this neighborhood to where it dead in and all the streets to turn off on were too small and too tight for me to turn off on with this 50 foot, 53 foot trailer. So I backed out of this neighborhood. I probably backed up, I don't know, maybe close to a mile and uh, the turns and all kind of mess. So that was like at least an hour <laughs> wasted trying to get out of this neighborhood and call the uh, the people I was delivering to and they gave me the real address. And that was mistake number one. They gave me the wrong address. And they said, no, use this address. Oh, okay. But had I did my trip planning, I would have found that out. And I wouldn't have been in that predicament in the first place. But it is what it is. Those lessons learned, you know, it's not better. So, we don't plan to get in that situation anymore. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm just going to go here and drop this off, give them a dispatcher, and get a load just for the day. Run out some way and come back. Maybe stay on a nice way and come back. I got some business to take care of later this week. And then we'll go back out maybe Friday or Thursday evening or something. But, uh, keep on. Yeah.
they got shipping and receipt, receiving sign right there. So if I've been paying attention, I would have did it regardless of the research. But if that sign wasn't there, I'd have been in trouble. Map. So things kind of tight just for a pedestrian. Four wheels. But we here. Dispatcher, submit that paperwork and get paid. So we left Washington, Georgia after that drop and I got a load coming out of Winder, Georgia. Winder, Winder. Uh, Y'all can help me out and put down in the comments how it's pronounced. But uh, we're here about five minutes away. Um, I checked out on Google Maps. Didn't give me very much info. <laughs> so we'll see how, how it work out in a few minutes. But yeah, this uh this load is a load of uh steel sheets. It's about thirty-nine thousand pounds. We headed up to Rocky Gap, Virginia. So that's about a kind of six hour drive. We're gonna get up there and post up for the night, spend the night, drop it off in the morning and catch something coming back this way. Sometimes I put it in uh, my trucker's GPS, which I use most of the time, or all the time actually. And, uh, I use my phone GPS Apple as a backup in case things ain't updated or don't quite work out right. But, uh, I didn't put it on my phone this time, so we just rolling with the truck GPS. Have everything laid out for me like the last place did as far as 
arrows pointing to shipping and receiving this way. If not, we just have to park on the road and block some traffic for a little bit until we find out what's going on. And I ain't pulling in nowhere. I gotta have the white knuckles and sweat just to get out of there.
pulling inside today. Let me step in this office and see what they got for me. on here. Just gotta pull up to the door up there and uh, drag the top everything down and we'll be on our way. Got lucky. I'm only gonna have to use one torch so it'll be a light workout today. 